This is my entry for the 2007 Pumpkin Carving Contest. I call it a Spotkin. You can see the spot because it's powered by a, a sunspot device. It looks, a sunspot looks something like this. And there's one of these inside the pumpkin that's controlling it. Now this pumpkin can be controlled remotely with these two buttons here. See that it moves the eyes. And it's got an accelerometer so it can detect when it's, sh it's being sh shaken. Um, similar to this device where I have the yellow light here um, indicating uh, that it detected some shake. So I'll, go, I'll uh, try to shake the pumpkin. And it triggered an MP3 device uh, to play a certain sound clip when I uh, when it detects being uh, being picked up or shaken, and it'll cycle through different sounds each time. You are beginning to anger me. Continue like this, and you shall barely live long enough. To and one more time. <laughs> and then I'll put it in automatic mode. In this mode, it moves its eyes uh, independently uh, from the controller and will, can also control the MP3 player. Here's a look inside the pumpkin. You can see the uh, eyes being controlled by a servo, much like you find in a model car. Um, which is right here. This is a self-contained MP3 device which is connected to this speaker over here and interfaces through this cable to a little uh, interface board which then connects to directly to the sunspot inside. And we have the uh, the board, uh, the switch controlling the servo, and the interface, the, the servo, the interface to the servo as well, connecting to the sunspot. <laughs> Making all kinds of Halloween sounds. And in fact, you can install yeah, whatever. your own MP3 songs, and it can be a party pumpkin. <laughs>